Happy Thanksgiving and just wanted to let you know a little bit about uh, some ancestry uh, as it relates to the Mayflower passengers, the pilgrims that were there at the first Thanksgiving. Uh, one of the noted ones is Stephen Hopkins. He is indicated as my ninth great-grandfather. And uh, Stephen Hopkins was uh, one of the more interesting uh, people uh, on the Mayflower. He had been to the New World before. He was went to on the he was on a ship called the Sea Venture that in 1609 was going to bring relief supplies to Jamestown uh, in the New World, which was at the time um, struggling in what they called the dying time. And on the way, they ran into a huge storm, a tempest, as it was uh, called, a hurricane, and they had to shipwreck in Bermuda. Uh, during that time, there was a lot of goings on. Um, one of the people that was on, also on the ship was Richard Strachey, who was uh, Shakespeare's partner and wrote a the storm and their shipwreck and then that almost got him executed he got out of that and that news got back to William Shakespeare and that is said to have been the impetus and the the basis for his play The Tempest the ship did eventually get put back together. Hopkins did make it over to Jamestown. He spent some time there, uh, communed with the natives, uh, learned some of the things that were going on. During this time, his wife died. So by the time he got back to England, he, uh, he married again and uh, was approached by some Puritans that needed a guide and somebody that knew the lay of the land. So they recruited him to go along with them on the Mayflower for the trip. During that trip, he brought along some tradescraft people and he brought along his pregnant wife and arrived in the New World. They sat out into Plymouth Harbor, Plymouth Bay, and Oceanus Hopkins was born on ship, being the uh, very first person born in the New World of that group. Uh, although he did not last the first winter. Uh, approximately 50% of the pilgrims that were on the Mayflower did not survive the first winter, although um, the rest of Hopkins' children and you know many of the people that were related to did. Anyway, so uh, he uh, ended up uh, living there in Plymouth, and that's that's anyway that's a good starting point a a place where you might want to learn uh, a little bit more about uh, family history and thanksgiving and the pilgrims uh there is much more about that stuff i'd be happy to share with you as i learn more and again happy thanksgiving